Good evening everybody, I'm Sarah and um, I'd like to thank Sanel very, very much for inviting me here um, this evening to her exhibition. And uh, just at the beginning we were talking about her, her work and what she's doing. And um, she told me that the images were chosen by the women themselves, that they chose something about themselves that they felt comfortable about. And I think that's really, really telling when you look at these. I mean, it's very difficult to say that they're great <coughs> photographs because of the stories uh, which go with them, but they are great photographs. They're incredibly moving. Um, and the stories that go with them are individually incredibly moving stories. And I hope you've had a chance to look around and look at each of these um, photographs. And Sunel tells me this is an ongoing exhibition, so I look forward to hearing more about it and seeing the finished end product when she's done more of this work. It's really inspirational. And it's the sort of thing which brings home why we need to do work around this, why governments need to be involved in it, but why we all need to be aware of the need to tackle domestic violence in particular, but also to tackle violence against women. Because what these images show is that violence against women and domestic violence, it is about the individual who's concerned, it is about the terrible experiences they go through, but it's also about the experience of women in general, and where women are situated in society, and the inequality they experience because they are women, which at its very extreme can lead to violence, and including domestic violence. So that was really what I wanted to say about the exhibition. A little bit about, uh, as a civil servant, I think I'm obliged to tell you a little bit about, about what we do and why I'm here this evening is I work in a uh, government equality office um, and our role is um, to act strategically across government and to champion equality um, across government and I work for the Minister's Women for Harriet Harman um, and I'm responsible for um, trying to raise the profile of the need to tackle violence against women across government um, and she's very, very passionate um, about this, and she will love, uh, well, again, love is really the wrong word, isn't it? But she would be very inspired um, by these photographs, so I will be making sure that she sees them next week when she comes back from recess. I mean, Harris has a very long uh, history of campaigning around domestic violence, so I know that she will find these inspiring and will help us continue on um, campaigning <coughs> from inside. I think also what these images show us though is that, you know, these are about ethnic minority women. And I was talking to Mina who will speak, I think, more about this and from experience. But although these images invoke the experience of all women, what they also show is that for ethnic minority women, um, the particular barriers that they face in dealing with the consequences of domestic violence. Domestic violence is domestic violence wherever it happens. It's the same problem, but it's mediated through the culture of the victims, which can raise additional barriers, either because victims are living in a very tight-knit community and might find it very difficult to speak out or to get help. And in fact, some of the testimonies... Yeah. Um, from the victims themselves, say, well, you know, the family told me just to be quiet and to get on with life, those kinds of things. Or because they're from an ethnic minority background, <coughs> they may know very few people and be doubly isolated um, in society. And I think, again, that's what these images kind of highlight, is the double impact, or even the triple impact, of being an ethnic minority woman in this society, experiencing domestic violence, that it's even harder to find help. It's even harder to draw on um, the community ties to get somebody to help you because you may be seen as bringing shame on the community or raising an issue that nobody really wants to deal with inside your community. And so I think, you know, these kinds of exhibitions kind of highlight what the victims go through and help the rest of us to understand and appreciate the need for addressing this. <coughs> I 
I'd like to just finish by saying that the yeah, government does take domestic violence very seriously and we have an awful lot of things underway which I won't list and go through but the one thing I really would like to, to highlight is that we do recognise the need to do more. We do take it seriously and we know that there's more that we can do and at the moment we're running um, a consultation um, on violence against women called Cadet Together We Can Tackle Violence Against Women and Girls. And I'd really, really encourage those of you here to participate in that consultation. You can do that online, you can write in, or um, in London, between the 6th and 9th of May, there'll be events around London. Um, they've not all been settled. So one will be in Lewisham, in the town centre on the 6th of May, but the other dates haven't been finalised yet. They are on the Home Office website. I'd really, really encourage you to go along, have your say, and tell us what more we can do, what can we do differently, because we are serious about making change, and this is a really important way of hearing from people who've experienced violence, experts like Nina from Pencil Back Sisters, survivors like Margaret, about how we can do <coughs> better. So I'll finish there just by encouraging you to have your say and help us to make a difference. And again, thank you to Sunil.